the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Because of the color of my skin or my orientation or whatever the case may be. And so, but that's because, again, it's all a lie. Yeah. If I'm ever exposed to the truth, Woo! then I come to the knowledge of the truth and yeah. I begin to meditate and be and be and be and be and be renewed in my mind after what's really true. Yes. Then once I change in my thinking, my, my obviously my outside, everything that's going on in my life would change as well. So if I am, is because of my erroneous thinking yes. and erroneous exposure yes. to misinformation. Yes. All I got to do is come to the truth Woo. and begin to allow that to resonate Man. in my mind and in my life. And come I on. can be transformed how? By the renewing of my, mind. my mind. But it got to be out to the truth. It can't be, you know, <laughs> the people. Then again, I, I just like to say this. I think it's a disgrace that ministers or people that's been called by God use that platform or that opportunity yes. to push a vaccine or, or or a political position or against that person or yeah. this look yeah i thought your job was to teach the bible preach it yeah and and, and there's only one holy spirit he'll he'll reveal to me if i meditate and pray and i got the right programming to me after the word of god mm -hmm. i don't know my direction i, I don't need you to try to decide what's best for my life and my family that's yeah. god's position now you need to teach me the bible and then yeah. if i know the truth then yeah. obviously that counterfeit looks obvious it sticks out like a sore thumb if i uh -huh. know the truth mm -hmm. if i don't know the truth then you know what i tend to do i tend to follow the masses or somebody that i respect or the party that i adhere to but that doesn't make it true just it because again the masses said, crucify him, free Barabbas. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't because they loved Barabbas. It was because they hated the truth. They hated the truth. And, and it was because they hated the truth. They hated Jesus Christ. Yeah. It wasn't because they loved Barabbas. It had nothing to do with their love for Barabbas. Right. And that was, and that, but, but everybody was saying it. And everybody was going along with it. And it seemed like the right thing to say. And then that mob mentality, instigated the others that didn't even have an opinion to make that their position and yeah. it just seemed right but was yeah. it right of no course it wasn't no nope. yeah because yeah. they didn't know the truth and the truth was right there in front of them there. the whole time and that's right. the problem the truth is right here in front of us mm -hmm. but we have to dedicate ourselves to that discipline of learning it adhering to it praying and meditating and getting into the word and as we said earlier, speak the word only. Because speak if it. I get the word in me, yeah, then then everything else, I'm gonna know where to place it when I hear it or when I feel it or when it happens in my life. I'm gonna know exactly where it falls because the Holy Ghost is going to bring back to my remembrance those things that He has said done to me. Yeah. But He can't bring back to you your remembrance <laughs> you things that you never knew in the first place. I mean, how you gonna how you gonna remember something right. that you didn't initially remember? Woo! I can't remember if I never knew it. So yeah, I have to expose myself to things. And that's what's important. And that's not CNN. That's yeah. not Fox. It's the B-I-B-L-E. It's where I need to spend my time. You see, I'm not I'm not against the news because you kind of got to know a little bit about what's going on. But then too, we say, oh, I'm so shocked by this. I'm so shocked by the virus. I'm so shocked by the pandemic. If all these things are shocking you, it proves to me you ain't reading your Bible. Because mm. if you was reading your Bible, you wouldn't be that shocked. Because yeah. it talks about all these things in the last days and the kind of things that's going to be occurring. So you should be expecting these to see these things because I don't care how much we pray, how much we fast, how much we do. The word of God is going to stand. And what he said was going to happen, it's still going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so if you're so shocked and, 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 and oh God, I never saw this coming. Yeah, well, then that tells me right there you 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 haven't been you haven't been in the word because yeah. if you hadn't been in the word, then these things would not be so shocking because he revealed to us the kind of things that's going to happen and the kind of things that's going to be going on. So there's no way on earth it can't happen. 
Because he exactly. said it was. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like I said, and on and, and top of that is to go back to what he said about the rock, standing on the rock, right? House built on the rock. Is to say is, he, could he said, the wind, the rain, the flood, all these things will come. But it's what foundation that you're standing on that will make a difference in the day of those storms, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Said, they coming. Guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, because if you stand on a lie, then your foundation will have a great fall. And it's then, secret and, yeah, and, and that's there you go. Then we say it is stay with the word only. You know, I, I, yeah. it's unfortunate that people is um it's unfortunate that people have built their foundation or taught their children of a lie. And now, yeah. and, the, and the problem is, yeah. that you have to keep fighting. You get, you got to keep lying to, to 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 maintain. You know, look, you got to keep lying to maintain a lie. Um, well, you know, the thing about it is, too, Pastor. A lot of times, um, people think you're against them <laughs> simply because you repeat what the Bible says. Uh -huh. In other words, and, and, and I'm not going to try to try to itemize, but yeah. let's just say the, the gay and lesbian movement. Uh -huh. If I repeat what the Bible says, and I stand on what the Bible says, then that means, oh, I'm not, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm homophobic or I'm against gays. I'm not against anyone. I'm simply a repeater. If you want to be mad about what I'm saying, then you need to go back to the one that said it. It's not my original thought. It's not my principle. I'm simply conveying to you what this book says, what this discipline says, where this position is, which I adhere to. And if it doesn't align, it could be a drunk, or it could be a fornicator, or it could be an adulterer, or it could be a drug abuser, or it could be a riotous living, or it could be a feminist, or it could be a it could be whatever, a robber, a stealer. It doesn't that doesn't mean I'm against you because I speak the word only. No, no, I'm not against you. But you need to know the truth too. Yeah. You, you may be confused or yeah. don't understand things. I'm just telling you that there's a different way. There's a different standard. And this is what the Bible teaches. Mm -hmm. And that's where I stand. Now, and that's every aspect of life. If yes. what you're doing doesn't align with that, that doesn't mean I'm against you or I hate you. I'm homo, whatever, this or that or that or that phobic. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm just letting you know I'm more Bible centric. I'm mm -hmm. more, this is my position. And just because it differs from your position, I could easily say you're against me because yeah. <laughs> your position differs than mine. Right. You know, so it's, it's no different, but I'm not against you. But just as you verbally and, 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 and staunchly stand on what you believe in and, and articulate to me what you think is true and there's 155 different sexual orientations or whatever, I can easily tell you I believe there's two. And this is why I believe it and stand on that. And we can walk away and both of us still enjoy each other and still be happy and still understand life as life is. I don't have to agree with you on your positions or whatever, but I can articulate to you why I believe what I believe. And I just pray that you articulate to me why you believe what you believe. And we walk away. If you still believe what you believe, that's fine. And I'm gonna walk away still believing what I believe. And I hope Amen. that's fine with you. Yeah. Amen. And I and I think I think that, that, and like I said, when you when we give the whole message, is understanding is hey, guess what? God loves you. God loves you, and despite your orientation, despite your racism, despite your 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 inadequacies, guess what? He loves you, and and he is the one that begins to work on you, and me too. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> that's all. That means. I think if we just put the whole message together with that, is I, I I'm not in agreement with standing on a lie. I'm not in agreement with standing on hate. I'm not in agreement on standing on the the acts of, of uh, effeminate or homosexuality. I'm not in agreement with the those acts. I'm in agreement with that Christ came to save us. 
to, to and put to us in the right and to, and to deliver us yes. from those things because we yes. all got things. We got he so many. Hates sin. The Bible says that he is light, and in him there's no darkness at Come all. On. Come on. Period. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the whole point is that we wanted to let person know is if you come into Christ and, and, and this, that was what I was quoting earlier was the truth will make you free because many said it once say if you sin then you're a servant to sin and you're in bondage because of that so all we're trying to do <laughs> is preach the fact is that the truth to me I like this the truth will make you free and I was telling Brother Addison last week what I like about the word make, you know, we you have Flip Wilson you say the truth will set you free, right? A lot of people have used that, that word, the truth will set you free. Where I like the term, the truth will make you free. Implies a force, implies a, 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 a something propelling you to move from the positions that not, that doesn't line up with his will. Does that make sense? Well, it also it also implies that um, it could be, and most times is a process. A process. Oh, a process. Yeah. It, now, there's people that have uh, those situations whereby, you know, and I and I believe it happens all the time, where something happened in your life, you smoked for forty years, you know, you had an experience, or uh, you know, you had a revelation from God. And boom, yeah. the next day you never smoked again. Yeah. Uh, I do believe yes. in that. Yeah. Yeah. But I do think that that's, I don't think that's the norm, although it does happen. And it may happen more than we want to want to admit to. I'm not sure. I don't keep stats on that. But know, even God. if that's not the case or true the case, I know that the Bible teaches me that, that uh, be not conformed, yes. but be ye transformed, which means that it's a process. It's and then it process. tells me how to and it tells me how to do it yeah. by the renewing of your mind exactly. which means me as i expose myself to a different school of thought yeah. i begin to i begin to meditate in this thing and understand what it's saying slowly but surely and everybody's at a different pace my yeah. outlook my understanding my feelings yeah, about that area in life will begin to shift yes. and at some point it is going to shift all the way from a different position. And then it's be not it's not because it is because of the renewing of the mind. Oh but what am I renewing my mind after? I have God. to decide exactly right. Yes. Exactly right. And then there's so many obviously positions out here even on it. And let's just be honest. Because well, there's I, I think, I there's think so I, many positions on the word of God. And so I, and so we you know we we trust in people you know, we like their interpretation. We like what they say it means or whatever. But again, I've always said, and I'll continue to say that the Bible is the best commentary on the Bible. Yeah. The yeah. Bible ex explains itself. You don't really need uh, the Holy Ghost as the true teacher of the church according to the Bible. And the Bible it will explain itself. <laughs> yeah. If you, the more you learn, the more you know, because the more you learn something in addition, the more it opens up another area that you may have not really understood that well. So it's it's a lifetime study. It's a lifetime study. It's a lifetime and it's a lifetime evolution. And so you never are quote unquote an expert on it. You never, and you know, you got so many people out here know, they claim to know everything about it. Well, and see, I'm already leery about that particular person because to me that just doesn't make sense. This right. book is far too vast. More for you to be yeah to be an yeah. expert on it because yeah. because the light becomes brighter and brighter every day things yeah, are being on. revealed more and more as we as we develop and live so there's things that you know just like paul got some revelations he, did. he said that he didn't receive from man or by man <laughs> But it was revealed to him by Jesus Christ. Yeah. These were revelations that the other disciples <clears throat> had not come into the knowledge of, even wow. though they sat with him for three and a half years. Yeah. So he had some a mystery and revelations that they weren't aware of, that they had to learn after 
the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so, and so that lets me know things are being, uh, the light is getting brighter and brighter. Mm -hmm. If in fact you're on that path. If you're on that path. To understand what it's saying. Absolutely correct, absolutely correct. But then too, we know that in these days now that there's also these other things that are becoming more prevalent as well. I was watching last night, uh, school system as an after school program uh, for Satanism, where your kids can get out of school and they go over to this group. It's another, they called it a club, a Satanist club. And so they say, well, constitutionally, if you can have a, a religious club where the kids go after school until their parents get off and, and be, you know, uh, exposed to information and do little activities or whatever, then constitutionally, I can have a Satanist club for the school system and kids can and their parents can sign kids up to come to this as well too. And don't and don't and don't get it twisted. Constitutionally, it's a protected right. It's but right. that don't make it right. It doesn't and make it. and those things are going to become more and more and more prevalent as we see the day of approaching. Period. And so, you know, it's just the way it's the world we live in. He said it was going to happen. It's happening. We that's why we have to be more diligent. That's why we don't have time to get into politics. We don't have time to play political games. We don't have time to talk about all this. Because things are getting so uh, awry. We need to stick to just teaching the truth because that's the only thing that's gonna be able to combat all these other that's the disciplines. Thing. Yeah. So yeah. we don't we don't have time to be to be getting into all this other stuff. We got time for one thing and one thing only if we're called. That's to teach the word only and make sure people understand that there's another desire and we believe it to be the truth. And I'm not saying believe what I'm saying, but here's what the book. Say? Yeah. Go to it. Yeah. Pray to the Holy Spirit. God will reveal and then dedicate yourself in this mm -hmm. and see what he teaches you and tells you. Because I think it's a better, it's a better choice. I believe in my heart it's a better choice. Well, Not well, only in this world, yeah. but also in that which is to come. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, he said is that John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father but by me. Right? So we stay within his direction as believers. And then we recognize that there's other people going to take on other foundations. And, and, and I think by just continuing to remind ourselves and anybody who wants to talk about it is, is that you go, you go to the Satanist club for Sunday. Well, you know, if that's the foundation that you're going to stand on, just understand, my, the Bible tells me that the wind will come, the rain will come, the flood will come. And if nothing else, you'll learn based on the aftermath of what you're standing on. You know what I mean? Does that make sense what I'm saying? If 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 you if you take Satanist Club, for example, you brought it up, if that's what you're gonna build your foundation on, then you know what's gonna happen. And all I can do is give you an, what do you call it? I can go give what the word says. And if if, right. if you think that can hold against the, the rain the wind and the flood if you think it can hold stand on it yeah. i'm just telling you i don't believe it's going to hold i don't believe it's going to stand i don't believe that if you talk about you know i'm gonna use this example as we preach the truth right is what does what does the bible say it's about satan right he comes to steal exactly. kill and destroy now so and he disguises wanna... himself as an angel of light so it could appear to be the right path it really could well, I think a lot of cases when these kids talk about it is when they, they, when they, I'm just talking about using that for example, just, just a uh, rabbit trail on that, is <laughs> they know what that represents when you talk about Satan, right? They, they know what it represents. They know, even if they, even if it's a club, it's not going to talk about they're going to have love or unity uh, uh, or uh, peace. They know it's going to talk about destruction. You know, it's going to talk about hurting some people. Uh, I don't know if I don't know about uh, those people that's in those type of organizations think that. Well, when I go to hell, <laughs> I, I'm going to get what we call a position, right? Some status. Well, and, and you know what? They may talk about love, 
and unity think so? in those things. Oh, of course they do. Yeah, 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 they do. They do. And that's part of the deception. That's part of the deception, of course. Of course it is. Yeah, they do. You know, it's so many, as we, as the world continues to grow, um, spirituality um, and things of the spiritual realm are more prevalent. Obviously, Ouija boards, things of that nature, sell out in record, record numbers right now. Witchcraft is more professed witches in the world than ever before. Anything that's spiritualism and stargazing and crystals and all these little new age type situations of uh, organizations are cropping up more so than ever before in the world mm. because there's a heightened sense of spirituality and people do recognize that there's something more to life than what's natural and so they want to be able to tap into that and so because there is such a hunger for something outside of this there's so many things that have cropped up right that's going to give you an outlet just like you know we could have we could have coronavirus and guess what fake test sites fake fake medications people are going to exploit whatever situation there is where there's hunger because they see there's an opportunity to exploit to make money to gain an audience to get a platform and so whatever the the the, the climate is then millions of opportunities are going to crop up that's going to feed whatever you have a hunger for and so because now according to the bible and according to just what if you look at everything in life this this desire for something outside of that which is natural is that a heightened sense so all kind of things are out there spiritual groups and cults and ouija boards and witchcraft and new age and crystals and you name it and sage burning i mean you got people like Kyrie Irving burning sage at at different stadiums that he go to to quote unquote exercise demons out of there before he before they play i mean it's getting to levels you know you got the flat earthers and all so everything now is it's, it's getting to levels where the people that are influencers and that's a great word too influencers right. uh are participating in and propagating these things which causes a following and so there has to be something obviously attractive right. or they wouldn't be attracted and so and so and but then too you know obviously uh a mouse trap is attractive to the mouse but guess what when he grabs the cheese it snaps his neck yeah. So even though it's attractive, it has to be attractive to it's bring right. it in. But you got to know what the end result is because it's attractive for a reason. I can't attract you. I can't attract the mouse box by just putting the mouse trap there with nothing on it. It's going to have to be something there that he wants, desires, and that attracts him to it and makes him want it to the fact that he jumps on it or he nibbles on it or he take partakes then once he partakes that's when it releases itself and snaps his neck but then yeah. it's too late yeah and so that's just that's just the nature of what goes on out here yeah they're making them attractive things are attractive you know things are you know you got people out here man i'm gonna tell you something drinking blood baby's blood i mean if we really knew the extent of things that are happening yeah. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. You'd be like, there's no way that's really going on. I don't believe that. That's what people are saying. Ain't nobody that weird to be doing stuff like that. Trust you me. Know, you You're know, just think, that weird I to be doing that stuff. Yeah, you know why? And I think that uh, when, 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 I think that that must be attractive when the, when we're not preaching the message. And I ain't talking about us tough personally. I'm talking when the body of Christ gets off message and, and or even if uh stay on a lie and see the lie is when we talk about let's go back to uh discrimination and and what I, my point of saying is and i even said earlier on this this other thing too jim at this check this out land of the brave home of the what is land of, what is it land of the brave home of the 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 uh land of the free of the, free. the home of the brave oh, okay yeah. land of the free home of the of the brave 
one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> That's one of the concepts of this nation, right? That is one of them, right? When you when 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 they see a lie that's contrary to that that position, 